Not only did we use the law to find evidence of the fact that kids were being detained in watch houses and that in fact the Queensland Government had been violating the rights of these kids in detention, but we also used the law to say to the Queensland Government, you need to uphold this particular standard. Amnesty International's framework is the international human rights legal system. Uh, this essentially is what allows us to hold governments to account to those rules or standards that governments themselves voluntarily signed up to. We are absolutely independent of all political parties and all party politics. It means that we can hold every government to account using the objectivity of human rights law. So there are a number of different international standards for how to treat kids in detention. And in relation to the use of that law, we look at the evidence that we've gathered and we match it against those international standards. And then we talk to the authorities about how essentially they are violating those standards and how they need to rectify the situation. In addition to this, we use the power of people to communicate the information that we have found and similarly put pressure on the government to bring their practices in line with those particular standards. We found that there are 2,655 instances where the breadth of this law has been violated. So not only international standards, but also Queensland's own regulations and the police's own regulations. Part of this also is in relation to the Queensland Police Manual saying that you shouldn't detain children in certain watch houses. And we have discovered that in fact, young kids are being detained overnight in particular watch houses. We talk to the Queensland authorities about the fact that we believe that those standards and rules and laws have been violated and also talk to them about how they can bring them into compliance. So it's really critical that this isn't simply about a legal framework, it's actually about the humane treatment of children in detention. Um, so fundamentally at the heart of how we use the law is ensuring that all children are treated humanely.